Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt. We're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. Today we have another electrical question and actually about lifestyle as well. And that is, um, what are the options on going to an electric galley? What about an induction cooktop with convection air fryer combo? I think you you cook electric. We just uh, did that right? this last year on our own boat because we've upgraded the the DC system and we've got this uh, super high powered uh, alternator in in what's called the integral system and we've got a big bank of lithium ion batteries. We we have a ton of stored electrical energy on the boat, so we put an induction stovetop on the boat, but we uh, don't have an oven that goes with it. Uh, that that would be an expensive retrofit to pull out our propane stove and do all of that. We can put the uh, countertop induction stove on the boat uh, and then we uh, replaced our uh, microwave with a combination microwave and uh, convection oven. Those bits of kit weren't available a few years ago, but you can buy them now. The one issue we found is that if you're using that convection oven, it generates a lot of heat and you need good ventilation for the microwave. And typically speaking, microwaves on boats are tucked into cabinets and, and there's not much ventilation around them. So you do need to pay attention to that. First of all, you could just get the microwave uh, really hot, and maybe uh, destroy it, but uh, you might, I don't know if you could generate enough heat actually to cause a problem on the boat and maybe uh, potentially start a fire. I have no idea. But that ventilation issue is going to be an issue with the convection oven, um, but not so much with the microwave. And it works great. And in fact, uh, this last uh, two summers on the boat, we've almost never used the propane at all and one of our next steps would be, if we were to keep the boat, would be to pull the whole propane system off the boat and go all electric. Pretty amazing that that's possible these days. Huh? With the I know. Technology. I mean, it was inconceivable a decade ago, uh, unless you had a generator and you ran the generator long hours every day. It really is a lifestyle transformation. These super high powered DC systems, which we, we address in our advanced marine electrics course. Um, how to set these up and how to optimize them. It, it, it's a game changer in terms of uh, offshore cruising. Cool. Well, thanks for your take on that, Nigel. And if you want to learn more about this, well, actually, Nigel just mentioned our advanced marine electrics course. So there we have a whole module on optimized energy systems and also talk a lot about alternators and lithium ion batteries. So basically how to put all these things together to get a really optimized um, and very high like a system that really allows for a very, very good lifestyle on the boat. So check that out, boathow2.com, and see you soon.